Hello Glitter Witches and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about some books, a couple that I'm currently reading, some of my favorites, and then a few that I want to get to. Now this is by no means a comprehensive video, but I just thought it was a good idea to share some of the literature that I'm currently engulfing my brain with. So if you love book porn, this video is probably for you. To the sea. So getting into this video, again, I just want to reiterate, this is not really a comprehensive list. I have books in the back that I've read and others that I want to get to. This is just a few books that really have resonated with me or ones that really are on the top of the list that I really want to read. Now, I do want to put this video out there as an open invitation. If you have any book recommendations for me, please let me know because I would love to grow my library. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into some of the books. So one of the most tried and true books that I have is this book here, Honoring Your Ancestors. Now this is by Mallory Vaudois. I'm horrible with pronunciations. I'm not an English major. It's called Honoring Your Ancestors. Oh my God. Honoring Your Ancestors. A Guide to Ancestral Veneration. Now, what I love most about this book is everything. I found this book because of TikTok, I believe. And what I love most as far as ancestral veneration regarding this book is that it breaks it down to layman's terms, like you're a fucking idiot, which is what I love because I am. It talks about who your ancestors are, who your beloved dead are, how to give offerings to your ancestors, tobacco, water, alcohol, everything, um, mending um, ancestral trauma, talks about that. This is just really great place if you want to know what tools and how to actually do it, how to set up an altar. This is the book for you. I absolutely love this book. Another favorite of mine is this book right here. This was a recommendation from Brittany. Um, it's called Throwing the Bones. It's from Adelina Moonfire. Now, this is the first book that I've read about bone throwing. I have other books that mention it, but this is the only book that I have that actually is specifically for bone throwing. There's a lot of things that I like about this book. One of the things that I love the most is that she actually has a glossary or a dictionary, and she talks about the item as well as how it can be read and how she uses it. It also talks about how to put together your bone throwing set, how to start. She really goes into it and talks about the history of bone throwing. So this is a fantastic book. I think if you are getting into bone throwing or thinking about bone throwing, I think that this is a very good place to start. I do want to say that this is an independent author. So the format of the book is at times dicey, but the information within here is a real gem. So if you can get past some of the formatting issues, this is a really great book. Um, she seems very, very, very knowledgeable on bone throwing. So I think this is a good place to start and I reference this often. Another really, really great reference book that I used often is one of my favorites and this is The Book of Candle Magic. Candle Spell Secrets to Change Your Life. This is a fabulous book. Just aesthetically, this is a very well-crafted book. Absolutely beautiful. Now, what I like about this is it's different from another spell candle book that I have. So uh, there's another book that I have that basically is very generic in the way that it talks about candle magic. What I love about this is she goes into detail with astrology, numerology, everything, uh, reading smoke, reading the wax. If you're using um, a pillar or any other type of candle on a plate, how the wax falls and how to read that, how to really customize your candle magic. I really like this book and anytime I'm doing candle magic, I find myself all, always pulling this off the shelf. And I like that she illustrates heavily in the book what she's talking about. And I love that. Um, reading the smoke or soot in Seven Day Candles, how how they burn. It's just really a wonderful book. So if you're interested in anything like that, 
Uh, as far as candle magic is concerned, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. The next book is interesting because I have selected it to help develop a daily practice. Now, I actually bought this book to help me develop a daily practice. This is a fabulous book, and this is 365 Days of Hoodoo. Now, this is by Stephanie Rose Bird, which I believe is also the author of Stick Stones, Roots, and Bones. This is a fabulous book, okay? It's a little book, but this motherfucker packs a punch. Every day is a new way to introduce hoodoo into your life. Numbered literally by the days. And they're tasks that are doable and understandable. And she talks about history and placement and everything that really is a good introduction to what I like to call a commercialized version of hoodoo. So if you're looking to try to start a daily practice and you want something that you can open up and have a little exercise to do every day, I think that this would be a really, really good place to start. And you learn a lot of good information. And even in conjunction with this candle magic book, these things go perfectly together. And this is just a really good way to have an outline where you can just literally wake up, do what you got to do, and look and see what your task is going to be for that day to help keep you connected and keep you accountable in your practice, if that's something you're looking for. The next few books, I'm going to just shoot through really quickly, and then I'm going to show you what I'm actually currently reading. The first one is from Ronald Hutton. It's called The Witch, A History of Fear from Ancient Times to Present. Now, I got this quite a while ago. This is hard to digest. I'm just going to put it out there. I saw a review of this book, and I knew getting into this that this was more of an academic view of witchcraft, historical accounts of witchcraft. Um, it's very much written academically. Um, so this is something that I want to get to. This is a book that I want to read. I just haven't gotten to it yet but this is definitely on the list. So I'm looking forward to this, but this is gonna be a task. The next book that I wanted to show you guys is Dorothy Morrison, Utterly Wicked, Hexes, Curses, and Other Unsavory Notions. Now, <laughs> I will be honest with you, I have used a couple things um, out of this book. I just love how she presents the information in this book. Um, it's catty and oftentimes kind of bitchy and I love that and I love a book that's unapologetically left-hand pathed. If you're into that kind of thing or just looking for a good read, this is really a cute, funny, but useful book. I haven't read it fully. This is still something that I want to get to and actually read cover to cover, but from what I have used, I do recommend this book. The next book is actually a new book and I haven't read it yet because I'm reading something else right now, but it is called American Brujeria, Modern Mexican American Folk Magic by J. Allen Cross. Now I've seen a couple of book reviews on this from actual practitioners of Brujeria. Um, the Wicked Witch of LA, I saw his uh, book review. so. I was really led to pick this up and I'm very excited to read this book. Don't think I'm going to practice anything out of here, but just to learn about it. I've, I've heard the term, but I really didn't know anything. So I thought this would be a good way to introduce that into my brain and into my, into my life to figure out what this actually is. So the moment we've all been waiting for, maybe, I don't know, it's the current read. What I'm currently reading, honey. And that is New World Witchery, A Trove of North American Folk Magic by Corey Thomas Hutchinson. Now, this is a book that I got a while ago, and I started it and then put it down and walked away um, because of some stuff that's been going on in my life. But I picked this back up, and it's very hard to put down. There's so much that I love about this book. I love the historical facts. I love the intermingling between practices to educate you on where folk magic is and how North America does have 
its own folk magic and how it relates to people all over the country based on where they came from and their own traditions. This is such a wonderful book. I have not finished it yet. Again, I'm currently reading it. That has got me more in touch with my identity as an American. I know for me, I often look to other people and other countries and their history and their lore. And there's a part of me that's found it hard to connect as an American to American magic. What is American magic? Is there such thing as folk magic in America? And there is. And I just kept my eyes closed to it. And this has been really, really eye-opening. They introduce you to practitioners and their stories and um, North American folk magic and lore and folklore. And there's a lot of exercises in here and getting dirt under your nails. And I, there's just so much about this book that I love. And when I'm done with it, I plan on giving a full review. This is my favorite book. I am absolutely in love with this book. Again, if you have any book recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments. Feel free to make a video response. Tell me, what books are you currently reading? What are you looking forward to reading? I look forward to hearing all of these conversations. Until next time, thank you, Glitter Witches. Bye.